What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and just a quick video today. What's coming Thursday? We're going to be discussing it and seeing what is coming. Every Wednesday, Konami release on their official Twitter a preview of the players that are going to be coming and you kind of know from the silhouettes and by looking at cards and looking at players that have scored goals, it doesn't take long for the community, as we keep saying, to actually, you know, investigate it. So it looks like we are going to be having a Rafa Silva, Reese James and Isco version of cards. There's going to be three cards here. Shout out to CTE Football again over on Twitter for these mock-ups. This looks like we could have maybe two boosters out of this. Obviously, Reese James came on. I think he got an assist from a substitute. Maybe Sterling as well could have been in with a shout. I know he, he kind of had a super sub. He scored from coming on as well. Um, but the rest of the players there is go Rafa Silva. Rafa Silva has actually been beasting lately. He's had a lot of really good cards. He's kind of a card that's slept on. Um, but I do feel at this stage, lads, with the game, obviously we're getting our login bonuses and obviously we're getting this campaign bonus. But if you look at the actual issues that are being going on with the game at the moment in terms of the player of the weeks and in terms of the connection, I don't know if you guys have been struggling with server issues the last day or two. I have been really struggling with server. It's timing me out. Um, taking ages to go through the menus. Doesn't seem to be too bad this morning. But these player of the weeks over the last couple of weeks have gotten worse and worse and worse in my opinion. You know, and I feel like that the player of the weeks now, they definitely need to reinvent the wheel. Because unless you are downloading the game today and spinning for these Thursday, you're really only getting these cards if there's like, you know, an, another reason for it. You know, like 93 overall Thiago Silva or, you know, Porto or Minamino. Like, they're a dime a dozen. There's so many players now that are destroyer CBs. Even the free Rudiger um, is, is free. You know, you can get him on the match pass um, with the 15 contracts or Saliba as a build-up. Even Haaland here is the top star. I mean, you know, he's just so much weaknesses compared to some other cards of Haaland, um, even though it does go to a big overall. So I do feel like that with these three cards here, when they are kind of announcing these, I do feel like that, yeah, it's it's there is always a little bit of hype on Thursday. Um, but let me know the thought, let me know your thoughts below, because I'd like to do a video on what I would do different with the player of the weeks. And I'd like to have your opinions and we can kind of feature the best comments or the best ideas. Just something a little bit different. In other words, then, uh, or in other news, we're probably going to also have these selection of players here, you would imagine. Um, so these are again from CTE Football over here on Twitter. Um, I didn't have time to do up the mock-ups there today, but I do feel as if these cards could come as well. You've got Gavardil. Whether he'll come or not, it depends. It remains to be seen. He scored two goals. You've got another Fratesi card. You've got Puli. You've got Frank Garcia. You've got Isco there again as well. So obviously the boosters are going to be are going to be the big ones. Um, but I definitely do feel like, yeah, Rhys James is going to be an interesting card. He hasn't had a player of the week in a long time. But as I said, lads, it's just a quick video. Whether we'll get anything new or not, I don't think we will. Um, obviously, you know, we get the events and that on the Thursday as well. And of course, you also have the Arsenal pack that's going to be gone. So this is the final call for Vieira. And I know that Vieira is one of the most popular packs that they've ever released. This booster, Vieira, I mean, has been giving the game a massive boost in terms of numbers, in terms of people playing the game, in terms of people returning to the game, and in turn, in turn of in terms of people, in terms of people actually coming back that haven't played in a while. Uh, I know a few people over on my Discord were saying that they hadn't played the game in a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of months, and you know the fact that Toram was there and Nesta in a double pack. I think it is attracting a lot of people. So we're going to get into that as well uh, later on in the week. But yeah, the rest of these are still going to be ongoing. And then obviously for the events as well, we don't have anything new in this, just to rinse and repeat. I've kind of said it before. I don't think we're going to see a massive change in this model that they're doing at the moment, where you have a month of the football league before the phase resets and then the recycling of the co-op and the Italian event or the European club event, the teamed events. Um, I think that that's going to always stay the same. I think they need to reinvent the wheel. But as I said, I'm not going to give you any of my suggestions at the moment. I have a video that I'm going to work on with a couple of mock-ups and stuff um, that we will be feeding back. But I want to get your guys' opinions on it as well and your, your, choice, uh, your choices of what you would do, specifically with the player of the weeks, you know, to reinvent that a little bit. I mean, just one example for me is that instead of actually, you know, winning one of this and getting a spin, that you could guarantee which player of the week that you get by, you know, amassing 50 points in a, an event here. Just an open-ended co cup competition that you have, you know, four or five days to play it and you just need to get enough wins, you know. So that would encourage people to play the game more. Even if they lost the game, there'd be no limit. So just little things like that, but we'll do up a couple of mock-ups. But other than that, lads, it's going to be all about the cards. And I just feel at this stage with these cards... Are they really going to change the tile? I mean, for me, 
these players, unless they bring like 105 rated Reese James, and even at that, he's going to be competing with Trent and Philip Lamb. You know, the teams that we have now that have been playing for a while are just incredibly stacked. And that is kind of the problem, that any other card that they bring out, unless it's like a legend that you've never played with before or a nostalgic factor, or you're just doing it just to play with a different type of card, there is really no benefit to these cards anymore. So let me know your thoughts. As I said, I don't want to get into too much because I want to see what your opinions are. You always have some brilliant ideas and some innovative uh, ways of doing it. But yeah, it's something that's bothering me, the player of the week and the kind of content refresh. So let me know your thoughts, boys, and I will catch you in the live stream tomorrow. I'll probably have a video up as well later for Saliba, who's an absolute beast from the nominating contra or the match pass. Until then, we'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you want more.